Welcome back to Dark Souls 2 and the Valley of Poison. Extremely unfortunate environment that we're in, but hope still reigns supreme. Hopefully we can make a bit of progress. Oh, really? Well, still no progress on taking out those guys. Um... You know what I'm thinking? We haven't really done much in the way of exploration on this side. Let's see if we get a couple shots in. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to hit me, bro. Uh, so hopefully... I don't know, we find a way to like mitigate, if not outright remove, the poison. I'm not sure how realistic an expectation, that is. Let's see, where are you? There you are. Well, now you can hit me. Ooh, hello. Oh, there's so many of them. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going in the right direction, I think. problem is that uh, this isn't really even really a cheese like I honestly don't know what the alternative would be to uh, to deal with these guys if melee is not an option oh well now melee is an option <laughs> I've spoken into existence wait for the next attack to come there we go very nice his buddy is... well, buddies, plural, are around, though. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can go ahead and trigger this guy to come. Oh! Who is that? Somebody's tossing something at me. Um... From up by the windmill. I was trying to see who that is. Oh, from... Like, way up there. I'm gonna continue to stand in harm's way because I have... No idea. Huh. Well, at least from back here I can go ahead and take some pot shots. With this guy. Somehow, uh, 300 and, or no, 400 arrows at the time, uh, doesn't seem like such a bad purchase after all, you know? Let's let that settle down for a little bit. Keep firing. I wonder if I do do more damage if I hit the rider, if that counts as, like, a headshot. And if I hit the head of the rider, is that, like, double damage? Okay. We've successfully, uh, summoned them. Come on. I want you to want me. Oh, come on. Almost there. It's a very weird uh, phenomenon when that arrow just goes flying off in that random direction. One more. Here we go. Okay. Now, as for Big Boy over here. Oh, he's actually not super um, armored. An appropriate amount of armor is what I would say. Okay. This is as good of a uh, arena. Very nice. Did you drop anything? Oh, not even. Okay. Hmm. Well, 
I don't think we're going to have any success in dealing with the, uh, the pot shotter. I'm just going to keep doing their thing, I guess. Oh, hello. That's fancy. Too bad that doesn't work on me. He said arrogantly. Oh, there's another one he used. Ooh, poison. Oh, that's like literally Shrek <laughs> coming right at me. And he's uh, getting poisoned, too. Well, I'm just going to sit back here and... It's a good thing that he kind of um, demonstrated what these urns do. Because you know me, I would totally love to roll through a random urn. Try rolling? Yeah. No. Well, maybe here. Earthen Peak. Now, is this... Okay, this is just good old-fashioned water, right? Oh, nope. Still poisoned. Oh, and I should not have rolled. Hang on. Hang on. Now, here's a question. I wonder what the cost-benefit is for just continuing to pop life gems like candy versus... Um... Versus poison. Or like a poison moss. You know what I mean? Like, if a poison moss costs... X number of souls. And that mitigates po poison up to a certain amount versus me offsetting the health loss through life gems. That would be an interesting calculation to run. Uh, also, we've got a Pharaoh's Stone here, which I think we have one. And I thought wrong. Anyway. Kind of reminiscent to... Oh, it's... <laughs> I was like, you seem very familiar of the, uh, of Lucatiel, but that's because that's who you are, right? Still sorry to have burdened you, sir. Yeah, don't even stress. This is for you. By way of an oh, now you're making me feel extra bad. I, yeah. Ring of Steel Protection plus one. I didn't know that was, I didn't know rings could get plus one. Huh. Well, I will go ahead and take that. Thank you very much. Cool. Well, what's new? I found my thoughts growing hazy. My memories are fading, oldest first. The curse is doing its work upon me. I am frightened. Terribly so. If everything should fade, what will be left of me? Well, let me tell you, being undead isn't actually all that bad. I know it gets a rough, a rough reputation sometimes, but you know, you meet interesting people, go fun places. I had an older brother. We learned to fence together. He became the most decorated swordsman in all of Mirror. I never even compared to him. In fact, I never beat him, not once. That sounds like a boss then, in the making. One day, he was gone. Lost without a trace. So here's how I see this playing out. Now I'm certain that he was taken by the curse. Here's how I see this playing out. We go to some random sketchy castle. In the very top of the tower, there's somebody who's chained up. He breaks out of his chain. He draws his rapier. We die to him like 50 times. We eventually beat him. And in his dying breath, he says, Lucatiel. And then we're like, oh, this was the guy. And then we go back and tell her that we killed her brother, even though we didn't know it was him. And she gets at first mad at us, and then she's like, whatever. I would have done the same thing. Anyway, hashtag Dark Souls predictions. If only someone would hear my tale. My brother must have come here, too. Soon I may forget even about him. If only someone, my brother, okay. soon I may forget even about him. It is, uh, tragic. Alright, don't roll. Pro tip, do not roll in the water. Okay, well, here I go to test my theory. Well, if I'm poisoned anyway, I may as well just run out of here and into this room briefly. Uh, let's get my life gems ready. Oh shoot, where are they? Here we go. Let's crack another one. 
Okay, it uh, does seem to be mitigating the effect somewhat. Huh. Yeah, this makes me definitely think that life gems are a better deal than poison moss. So, maybe, like, I'll save poison moss just in case there's, like, a poison boss, which I think is a very high probability in this particular area. But, um... Alright, before we press further, that w this was just one potential path for us to venture down. There were also these stairs here. Oh, okay, well... I'll just let you die. It's no skin off my nose, but it's sure a lot of skin off yours. Yeah, there we go. I wish all enemies were like this. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't. That would get boring. But yeah. Oh yeah, this is the upper level where we were. You know, I'm just going to kill you the old-fashioned way. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, another one of you. You weren't dead, after all. Okay, well, here we go. Classic poison. Okay, where is this? Oh, I see you. Up there. There you go. That's what you get when you shoot your flame balls. Alright. Man, there is a lot of stuff here. Oh, haha. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was a thing. I was stopping to ruminate on that platform over there and stopping. Save my. Oh, it's an actual creature in here. Interesting. Now, when you die, do you explode in a puff of poison or what? Okay, another green blossom. That's nice. Can I destroy whatever that is? Alright, well, here's what we're going to do now. Yoink! Oh! Great job. And it was, like, super painful as well. Well, now it's like a point of pride for us, so we should probably just see it through, huh? I was a little bit too ambitious in my... ...athletics there. So maybe jumping a little bit earlier, actually. Oh! <sighs> So that little extra roll <laughs> that we do right there at the end, that's what's throwing me off. Cool. This is basically the Dark Souls version of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Except way more fun. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> To be fair, neither Mario nor Sonic ever did that, to their credit. Hello. I seem to have found myself in this crevasse, but not to worry, because we are just here to pick up a little bit of Skeptic's Spice. So there we go. Now, to continue our pursuit of that ledge over there, well, let's take out this mage first. Ooh. A little toasty. A dragon charm. Very cool. Let's uh, heal up a bit. Now, how to get down there? I just don't know. Try locking on and then jumping? Oh. I see. Now there's an idea. Oh, very cool. Hey. The real pro tips are in the messages. Love it. Let's go ahead and uh, deflect the poison with our life gem. Who else is in there? Uh, you? Okay. 
I know your deal. Oh, you know my deal too, apparently. And I'm almost dead. Ooh. Oh, yikes. I got pretty lucky there, actually. <laughs> I got very lucky twice. Wow. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll take a little bit of luck. Alright, cool. Uh, what exactly is this hole in the wall for? I know what you're thinking, and it's not that. Oh! <laughs> the pressure plate on the floor. I see now. I understand. Yeah. And, oh! Okay. Very sneaky. Good on you. Let's crack another one. More traps, huh? Ambush ahead shield required. Okay. Weakness confidence. Be wary of left. Okay. I feel like it should be wary of both sides, right? Right, there's a soul or something there, and oh, I see you. Okay. Surprise! It's me. Okay. That works for me. And what do we got here? Soul by name of soldier, Titanite. Cool. Very, very, very cool. Is this a mimic by any chance? Hmm. Hard to say. Oh, I guess we're going in. Nope, everything is good. Heavy crossbow and a heavy bolt. Ooh. That sounds intriguing. Um, where would the crossbow be? Yeah, plus three. Uh, but the thing is, like, crossbows are usually... Yeah, pretty heavily strength-based. So, not for me. Okay, all in all, a productive detour, I would say. Now let's see if we can jump to that platform over there. Oh. Okay, yep. Okay, I'm back. And, um... I have to say that my run back went perfectly. I did not die multiple times to fireballs um one of which was compounded by me falling to my death that you know that was not something that happened so all in all really successful i have to say that i do like uh this uchi just for the uh poise um i don't know what you call it the stagger that it inflicts on the enemies the rapier gets off quite a few attacks but it doesn't have that same oomph I guess. Oh, hello. Ooh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. So, yeah, especially with those big uh, Shrek guys. Be wary of chest, huh? I see. Well... I have a feeling I only need to go into this room once, so let's just do this. Oh, I actually get to pick up something. Oh, shoot. Get out of here. A poison stone. At least I can one-shot them. That's something, right? Alright, be wary of chest, huh? Projectile ahead, therefore try blocking. Maybe we should heal up first. How these people die? Oh, wow. They're being shot from somewhere. Okay. No one can say that I don't occasionally make decent decisions. Watch Dragon Parma. Sure. But let's...
Do something crazy and totally unequip. Okay, there we go. Let's see if this works. Oh. Well, did that help? Did blocking actually help with the, the poison or what? I feel like poison is going to poison you no matter whether you're holding a shield or not. I don't know. Oh, great. A torch. Totally, totally worth the trade-off. Okay, well, let's crack another one. Weakness, fire, or magic. Try up, and then try, and then ranged battle required. Okay. Hold your horses. Let me just do a little bit of inventory management. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I think we're we're good to go with that. Uh, we got our Estus queued up and ready. And mm, even though it says ranged, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I guess I could go with it. Yeah, I'll throw it on just in case. I don't know. I usually like to do melee if possible, but I'll give it a chance. Maybe we'll see. A covetous demon. Getting strong job of the hut vibes. Okay, he can pivot. Just gonna keep circling you, man. Ooh, okay. A little roll. Oh, and roll again. <laughs> the double roll. Understood. All right, let's just throw on a little green blossom, if you don't mind. And what I don't want to do is get stuck back in that corner, because that seems like a bad deal. Okay. Uh-oh. I think I'm too close on him. Getting some nice damage on him, though. I must say. Maybe one attack, and then pivot. I'm a little ashamed to have succumbed to him once. Does not seem to be the most uh, challenging. Okay, yep. There we go. Alright, well... Everybody gets one free bad death, right? Right? I say as I cry myself to sleep. 17,000. Hey, that helps. You know, the, the uh, lesser foe. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was going to say just that thing. But getting getting compensated does take some of the edge off of it, you know. Oh, and a bonfire. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'll take that. Why don't we pop back to Majula real quick? I need to I need a vacation somewhere non poisonous. And we are throwing a few levels into strength. Thirteen, there we go. Um We've got 3,000 souls. We probably could pop some uh, collected souls to get to the next level. And I say that like I'm not going to do it, but now I'm rethinking it. But maybe I do want to do it. Large soul of a brave warrior is what? Large soul of a brave warrior is... Oh, 8,000. Okay. Soul of a Brave Warrior is 5,000. Okay, well, uh, let's do that. Cool. Bearer of the... Less so, 
That gives us our 14 in strength. Uh, right here. There we are. And then we may possibly want to pop some more souls uh, to throw some levels on the Twin Blade. I don't know. I'm of two minds about it. Twin Blade. There we go. Uh, now, hang on. Um, okay, I do have the correct one. At first, I thought I had equipped the wrong one. Yeah. Nice. That's such a cool attack. That's straight out of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Darth Maul uh, playbook, for sure. <laughs> Scarily similar, but I'm, I'm so here for it. I'm loving it. All right. Well, he's... He doesn't work for free, nor should he. So, uh, large soul of a nameless soldier is a thousand, sure. Actually, you know what? It's a special occasion. Large soul it is, eight thousand. We're gonna we're gonna crack everything, everything we have, everything we we don't use for upgrading. We'll just get life gems anyway, so it's not like they're wasted. So, Twin Blade. Oh, and I, I also have to say that the nice thing about that poison area, if there had to be a silver lining, is that we got so many shards out of that. So, so many shards. There we go. And so we're at Twin Blade plus five. Um, so... I probably, you know, I could have saved a large shard to uh, get these guys up above plus five. But you know what? Novelty is always appealing. I'll be around if you make it back. So no regrets. And, um, yeah, keeping about 40 or so uh, life gems is not a terrible idea. So why don't we do... Ah, uh, you know what? Throw it all in there. Yep. Go ham. Thank you kindly. Acquiring souls has not really been a um, challenge, let's say. But staying alive has been, so that math checks out. Cool. I'm excited to. Uh, I'm excited to try this. Let me give, give me a test enemy here. Item ahead. Try rolling and then poison. Yeah, I see those blood stains up there. Oh, sniper spot. Indeed. You're so right. make our lives a little bit easier, right? Nice. I am the sniper. Cool. Uh, let's see how this works. Hello. Oh, come on. Oh, cool. I like it. I like that move set. That's that's pretty neat. Let's chill out just for a second. Now somebody was taking a pot shot at me. Uh oh multiple someones. I see. I'll have to get used to the attack uh cadence. Oop. Gosh, tried to roll past him and I rolled right into him. Oh, a backstab with the twin blade. Nice. Hmm. Taking a little bit more damage here than I would like. Might have to pop a uh, some life gems here in a second. Oh, whoops. I meant to... Didn't mean to do it right now. Well... Poison, yes or no? Survey says... Yes to poison. All right, I think he dead though. Try attacking, really. 
No. That's silly. Take that. Alright, let's wait for this poison to die down. It's very cool how your clothes basically serve as like a poison meter. Visually. Just from the uh, the build up. Alright, I think everything's going to be alright. Yeah, I see you. I don't care for what you're about. Ugh. Are you kidding me, bro? Okay. Well, it was a it was an idea. All right. Why don't we take this to my place? Ooh. He's still coming. You know he is. Nice. That's good stagger right there. So it's actually not necessarily a single attack. It's like three smaller ones, kind of. Even with just one left mouse button attack. Ooh, hello. Pointless. Oh, haha. <laughs> I raised that poison thingy up. Okay. It's nice, I guess. Oh, hello. Oh, I am out of luck, out of time. Shoot. Yeah, that was a that was a bad situation. All right, let's keep getting used to this weapon. You know, it's uh Okay. Nice to see that I can at least kill him all in one stamina bar. That's good. Um, let's just go ahead and draw him toward us. Come hither. Two. Three. Yeah, pretty neat, actually. Pretty neat. I mean, visually, it's outstanding. It's probably one of the more fun ones just to, to see happen. All right, you're dropping down from here. Let's recover some stamina. Oh, the headless horseman. Without a horse, so they're just headless. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. So, pulling up those, uh, pulling that lever over there. Oh, shoot. That was almost bad. Hmm. Now, how am I meant to get over there? It said try attacking. Right? Am I not mistaken? You know what? I actually am kind of a fan of those big jars of poison not being an issue for us. Why don't we go ahead and... Oh, it was already... It stayed... Okay. I see. Huh. So that that's just for that one. So is there a different lever controlling that other one? Uh, I wonder if this is maybe a firebomb type situation. Hang on. This might be a waste. But, uh, hexing urn. No, that's not what I want. I want your standard issue firebomb. 
Uh, why am I not seeing it? Are we out of them? Hmm. We might be out of... Might have used them all in the, uh, the flaming tower of... Whatever. Okay. Well, I don't want to use one of my super good black fire bombs because those are like heavy duty. I want to save them for a more opportune uh, occasion. So yeah, maybe a run and a jump would do it. It seems pretty far though. I yeah, I don't know about that. Hmm. That was pure skill right there. Okay, we'll raise this one. Very cool, I guess. Now, I have to say, in tight quarters like this, maybe a rapier would be better. Because it's poking. Ooh, this. Oh, right, I forgot to kill him. I forgot that that was the original plan. Alright, well, let's go up here. Nice that I can interrupt his attack, actually. Or I somewhat, somewhat interrupted it. Now, wouldn't that just be the icing on the cake if, uh, that was a mimic? Alright, hang on. You're about to get real annoying. Sorry, this is tedious, but it has to be done. Ugh. Oh, they're poison arrows too, of course. Oh, he dead. A pike. We talk in strength, we talk in dex. Let's investigate. Pike. Um, scales better with dex. Traditionally a weapon of regimental rather than single combat due to its unwieldiness. However, if you can manage to effectively step around an opponent, they will hardly have a chance to hit back. I'm happy with my twin blade. At least at the moment, you know. Never say never. Are you the same variety of enemies from before? Why aren't you approaching me? That makes me nervous. What are you hiding? Fall off. Oh, you asked us, huh? Well, that's kind of cool. Cool for you. Wow, nice. Try torch fire? What do you mean? Try torch fire. Well, the last time somebody told me to use a torch, it actually turned out to be super helpful down in the poison. Try torch fire. Oh, set. Oh, wow. Thank you, random messenger. Oh, cool. Is that gonna. Maybe this windmill is producing poison, and now all that nonsense down there is gonna go away, so I can actually go and collect some helpful stuff. If so, you will have done me a great service and I will forever be in your debt. 
Uh, well. No, poison's still there. <laughs> okay, well. It was an idea. Ooh, there's something over there. How can I get to it? Dare I scale the outside of this? Oh, it stopped. Oh, now it stopped. Huh. Do I need to walk, walk along this little edge thing to get there? Hmm. Well, we'll think about that. Maybe maybe there's somewhere to drop down. Oh, speaking of dropping down, hello. Okay. Loving the stagger. There's another one up here, right? Where are you? Oh, maybe there was only one. Oh, there's one there. Is that where I came from? Oh, there's a, the fog gate is... I could just literally drop down on the other side if I wanted to. Okay. Well, that's cool. A mannequin mask. Ooh. Time for fashion souls. Okay. Well, since I know that that is there... Let me at the very least... Yeah, it's a bonfire. I, I needn't worry. Let me go ahead and at the very least light the bonfire up here. And then we can continue to check this. Oh, gosh. Where did you come from? Let's check this sitch out. Ooh, there's a fog gate. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. He stole my heart. Actually, I think that's exactly what's about to happen. Now I really think that's what's about to happen. Now I really, really think... <laughs> okay. A true comedy of errors or a tragedy, depending on your perspective, I guess. Okay, well, while we're here anyway, may as well go ahead and check out the new acquisition. Ooh, creepy mannequin mask. A fickle queen gave them life and tore off their faces. How else could she forgive those who dared gaze upon her? Hmm. It's not bad. Does It is a uh, higher... Higher encumbrance. Hmm. Let's just see how it looks at least. Ah, actually not as cool as I hoped it would be. I like the edgy hood a little bit more. Just like being super edgy. Edgelord, that's me. This is kind of night good for crowd control though. Very costly in stamina, though. And a pretty long animation, so... Hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind. Alright, somebody's jumping from somewhere. Come on. Get in there. This is probably not smart. Yeah. Okay. All right. The twin blade is cool. There's no doubt about that. But I'm going to go back to the Uchi for a little bit. Just, I don't know. Oh, uh, that is very satisfying. I don't know. We'll we'll switch up the weapons uh, based on our desires. 
Come on, get out of there. Roll. Roll, damn it. Yeah. Uchi's pretty solid, not gonna lie. Yeah, we'll, we'll switch things up based on, uh, you know, keeping it fresh from time to time. Oh, hello. Also, hello. Whoa. Come on. Attack. <laughs> Alright, we'll pick up the item later. Is it just a fire uh, uh, caster or like the ma uh, the mage from before? Oh yeah, you know it is. Ooh, how do I get across? Now this is something I didn't expect to encounter. Okay. Well, fine. Maybe we'll go this way instead. I don't like these big jars. Oh, that, okay, now that's really mean. <laughs> Yikes, that is cruel and unusual. That was like intentionally, like, so sneaky. Like, not unfair, but just like a... Come on, man. You know? Like, really? You're gonna be like that, a mannequin knife? Alright, well, at least we know... We want to go to the left. Alright, come on up. Man. Their stagger is unlike anything I've encountered so far, other than being, like, flattened by a giant hammer, but, you know, it's understandable. Okay, we'll go ahead. Come on in. Oh. Oh my gosh, my range is so off. Okay. So this guy is going to be part of the regular run back to the boss, huh? Is this is what I'm picking up on? Oh, what? Okay. Oh, you're still alive. Okay. Now, what are all these stones that keep dropping? Am I looking in the right place? Oh, maybe it's a crafting thing. That's usually... Yeah, that's usually what it is. If I have no idea what something is, it's usually because it's a crafting. It's either a crafting thing or a magic thing. Alright, so that's where the fog gate is. Just set off whatever's in there. Hello, I'm here. Guess we'll try this way first. Oh, it's just a bunch of poisony spiders. Okay. To try switch, so there's like a switch in here that we need to pull, maybe? I'm not going to roll, because I don't want to damage a canister. Let's heal while we're at it. Yeah, 
instantly poisoned. Oh, so many of you guys. Okay. You the last one? Do that. Small, smooth, and silky stone. Oh, you. I didn't even see you back here. There's so many of you. Okay. Try item. Don't mind if I do. Oh! <laughs> The, fir <laughs> the first chest that I totally was not expecting it was the Mimic. Beautiful. Okay, we're back. And, well, now we know the dirty little secret of what awaits us. So, actually, let's preemptively life gem up once. And here we go. Nice. It doesn't even uh, spawn that quickly after you start hitting it. I guess that's your reward, huh? Work hook and dark gauntlets. Hmm. A hook that covers the hand. Clearly not intended as a weapon, but certainly sharp enough to shred an enemy's skin. For those of you who want to cosplay as pirates, which I certainly do. And then what was the other one? Dark gauntlets. What are we ro rolling with? 58.2 up to... Ooh, that's very heavy. Gauntlets of a knight subsumed by dark. No one knows the true identity of these men who are said to freely manipulate dark. Old foreign legends describe them as poor souls who chase the lost art of life drain. Hmm. Pointless. Huh. I sure wish I had one of these stones, but... Not exactly sure where to get them, since the merchant only had one. Secret ahead? Isn't the secret just poison? Oh yeah, I mean there is, there is something down there, that's true. But I could just get there by running there as well. Unless the secret is here. Oh, the secret is here! Haha. <laughs> nice. Whoa! Now that is a good secret. Hey, hey! Look at that. <laughs> I did not expect that. Let's roll. I forget, what does she sell? Let's check in. Fancy meeting you here. Speak up if you need anything at all, alright? I forget what she sells. It's like ore stuff, right? Uh bonfire, ascetic, titanite shard. Oh, okay. Nothing nothing that we need. These stones may look all the same. You've said this bef before. Some of them are used to smith. Some of them are extreme. None of the differences. Yeah, okay. No interest. Well, I mean, you're just saying the same thing every time, so pardon me if I'm someone who looks for a little bit of, uh, of variety, course. you know? Seek so less. Okay. So now, here's the question. So we've gotten to our desired, um, state for dex and strength as far as weapon experimentation. Um, do we th maybe throw a couple points into vitality just so we can carry a bit more? So we get 1.5%. Huh. I feel like this is a nice to have, not a need to have. Maybe I'll take this to like 10 or something. Which will just kick the can down the road in terms of the decision I have to make. <laughs> it's future me's problem as to what I'm going to pursue next, you know. Cool. And we probably spent about... 10 of these. Just dealing with poison, so... Man, she is the MVP 
It's like the Emerald Herald and her have been like the ultimate combo in keeping us uh, keeping us healthy, strong, and making progress. 